Although you may not know it, Tencent is one of the world's largest social media companies, the world's biggest gaming company, and has consistently been named as one of the world's 10 most valuable companies over the last few years. Tencent's investments have seen the Chinese company diverse its portfolio, both domestically and internationally, and explore industries from artificial intelligence all the way to sports marketing and children's toys. Between its instant messaging service, WeChat, and its web portal, Tencent QQ, currently the sixth most visited website in the world, Tencent's original brands have helped develop the technology powerhouse that we know today. Given that these apps were created by Tencent, they won't be included in our calculations, but we've weighed up the size, timing, and potential of the company's biggest investments in the last 10 years to form our own top 10, and here's how it happened. In 10th position on our list is Indian rideshare company Ola. Launched in Mumbai in 2010, Tencent joined the party in 2017 by investing $400 million for a 9.57% stake. The following year, Ola began trading in Australia and New Zealand, and in 2020 rolled out its service in London, seeking to overtake Uber as the market leader. Ola is currently neck and neck with Uber for control of the Indian rideshare market, which is estimated to be worth over $30 billion and growing every year. Their operations have now broadened to include motorised rickshaws and electric scooters, as well as artificial intelligence, in an attempt to win the race in autonomous vehicles. In ninth is Tencent's 2019 investment in news and discussion website Reddit. Although the total invested is only $150 million, fairly modest compared to other entries on this list, the funding could see the rise of uncensored content across China, a concept that most Chinese residents may be unfamiliar with. The Chinese government is infamous for banning foreign websites such as Facebook and Google when they are unable to control the content they make available. So it may be interesting to see the domestic reaction to Chinese investment in a social network like Reddit. The announcement led to a backlash from global Reddit users who feared having their content censored in future and saw a sharp rise in memes referencing Tiananmen Square and Winnie the Pooh, who is banned across China following comparisons made with the country's president. At number 8 is the $2 billion investment into Snap Inc, parent company of the globally popular social media network Snapchat. Since Tencent obtained its 12% stake in 2017, Snapchat's user base has risen by 50 million to around 230 million around the world, and revenues have gone from $320 million in 2018 to $462 million in 2019. The Snap brand also extends to Spectacles, the smart glasses used for recording video directly to Snapchat, as well as Bitmoji, the personalised stickers used across a range of globally popular messaging apps. Back in the ride-sharing industry, the seventh best investment was its $15 million injection into Chinese company Didi Chuxing in 2012. As a very early investor, Tencent has reaped huge rewards from Didi's meteoric rise to the top rideshare platform in China with a 90% market share. Tencent also took part in a $2 billion funding round in 2015, as well as a $4.5 billion funding round a year later, demonstrating the clear intent to monopolise ridesharing in China. Didi itself has invested across its own industry to improve its global reach, investing in the likes of Lyft in North America, Kareem in the Middle East, and acquiring 99, the popular ride-sharing platform from Brazil. Next is the $448 million invested in Sohu's Sogo.com in 2013. In case you're unfamiliar with Sogo, it is currently the second biggest search engine in China, only behind Baidu. As part of the agreement, Sogo merged with Tencent's own search engine, Solo.com, combining their shared search and social data to try to become the number one in China. Sogo was consequently made the default search engine for Tencent's WeChat, and also for both QQ Browser and QQ.com. However, Sogo still remains in Baidu's shadow, conducting 18% of all internet searches across China, considerably less than Baidu's 65%. At halfway through our top 10, we'd like to mention some other investments and partnerships formed by Tencent that just missed the cut. The first of these is Spotify, with whom Tencent Music performed a 10% stake swap in 2017. The exchange allowed both parties to enter into new markets and to boost their valuations ahead of imminent IPOs. Tencent has also had an exclusive partnership with the NBA since 2015 streaming live games and highlights from the world's biggest basketball league across China, with action broadcast on social platform WeChat. 
An audience of 21 million people in China watched the Toronto Raptors win the 2019 NBA playoffs, which proves that if basketball's popularity continues to grow, Tencent's partnership may soon merit its own place on the list. The final honourable mention goes to Tencent's collaboration with toy company Lego. The businesses have come to an agreement to combine Lego's global appeal with Tencent's online infrastructure to deliver a safe digital play space for children across China. Returning to the top five, we have Tencent's investment in Finnish gaming company Supercell, creator of worldwide popular mobile games like Clash of Clans and Boom Beach. Halti SA, a Luxembourg-based consortium of which Tencent is a majority shareholder with 51%, invested $8.6 billion in 2016, acquiring 84% of Supercell. The company's five mobile games use the freemium model, making them free to play but offering players the option to make purchases to expand or accelerate the service. Since its creation, Clash of Clans alone has accounted for 42% of the developer's overall revenue, bringing in more than $6 billion in that time. Moving back to the Chinese market, in fourth position is one of Tencent's most prominent domestic investments, Meituan Dianping. Meituan's main focus is on food delivery, similar in style to Uber Eats and Deliveroo, serving over 450 million customers. The app also includes other features, such as its discounts and offers service, which operates like Groupon, and it even has an online reviews service for restaurants, in a similar vein to TripAdvisor. Tencent's investment was to the tune of $400 million back in 2014 in exchange for 20% equity in the company and is currently China's leader in O2O, meaning online to offline services. Now into our top three, no technology investment giant would be complete without shares in Tesla. Tencent invested $1.8 billion in the electric car company in 2017 for a 5% stake, with the value of Tesla stock immediately rising 2.7% following the announcement. In the time since Tencent's investment was made, Tesla has gone from an orthodox luxury car manufacturer to a globally recognized market leader in electric vehicles and a pioneer in AI. The Tesla Model 3 is the world's all-time best-selling plug-in electric car, having shipped over half a million units so far. And founder Elon Musk has propelled himself to the forefront of green energy, artificial intelligence and space exploration. In second place is the largest retailer in China, JD.com. JD is one half of China's business-to-consumer duopoly, the other half being Alibaba's Tmall. Tencent acquired a 15% stake in JD in 2014 for a fee of $214.7 million. The investment formed part of the Jingteng Plan, a strategy to dominate Alibaba and emerge as China's biggest retailer. By sharing JD's consumer data with WeChat and QQ's social data, it's hoped that a competitive edge could be found and products or services delivered to customers with a scientific measure of effectiveness. JD itself has been a heavy investor in artificial intelligence, operating driverless deliveries using autonomous trucks, and currently owning the world's largest drone delivery system. Unable to choose between them, we in fact have a tie for first place between two juggernauts of the gaming industry, Riot Games and Epic Games. The investment in Riot Games dates all the way back to 2011. Not necessarily a household name in its own right, the company is the developer of League of Legends, the most played PC game in the world. Another freemium game, microtransactions are included to allow players to purchase skins, icons and emotes to be used throughout the game. The scope of League of Legends is unrivaled in the online gaming world, as the number of cities, alliances and conflicts provides an endless range of creative possibilities. The prize fund for the 2019 World Championships was $2.25 million, but was probably even higher when accounting for commission from in-game sales made during the tournament. Tencent saw the potential of Riot Games early on, investing $400 million for a 93% share and acquiring the other 7% in 2015 for an undisclosed fee, meaning that the developer is now wholly owned by Tencent. Meanwhile, Epic Games is the creator of the wildly popular Fortnite, another free game in which 100 players are dropped onto a map and the last one standing is declared the Battle Royale winner. Tencent purchased a 40% stake in Epic Games all the way back in 2012, five years before Fortnite was launched, for a price of $330 million. 
The cash injection transformed Epic's fortunes and allowed them to produce and publish Fortnite without funding concerns. What resulted was a free game available across both PlayStation and Xbox platforms that had global appeal, a combination rarely seen and never captured so seamlessly. Fortnite has become such a global phenomenon that the prize fund for the most recent World Championship reached $10 million, and its effect on popular culture has seen streaming reach the mainstream of public attention, as fans of famous rappers and sports stars have flocked to see their heroes in action within the virtual world. Do you agree with our top 10? What would you like to have seen added to the list? Do you think we cheated by having two investments at number one? Comment below with your suggestions for future top 10s. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.